Hello guys, Karin here. Uh, I'm finally done with the game. I'm at this point where like, yeah, you know, it works. I can't find any weird bugs anymore. Uh, it runs pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you, show you some code. I'm gonna show you the game, how it looks. And you can play it if you want to, or you can not play it if you don't want to. Um, some of the biggest changes I have now from the last time, the last game I made, so I have now a proper game loop. Last time I had just a repaint function. Uh, this time is much more. Uh, it's a, a proper way of doing uh, game loops. So it's going to update the frames. The frames are going to be updated as often as you can. Like the faster computer, the more frames per second you're going to have. But it's going to lock. Uh, lock the update per seconds to 60 60 updates per seconds uh, so if your computer is much faster than mine you're gonna have a higher FPS but updates per seconds gonna be the same uh, this is a pretty common uh, game loop at this level of game creating making games so a lot of games use this kind of type uh, this time type of loop <coughs> sorry um, so yeah this is how it looks. Uh, let's go start a game and just have it on the side. You can see, because uh, I in the title I set the uh, name of the information of what the game it is, tower defense game, and then I have update per seconds and frames per second. It gonna jump wildly right now because of me recording. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty simple start screen. Press enter to start. Press enter. Uh, there's some music in the background, so I just pause that. Uh, pretty simple. You buy here, uh, place it on the grass tiles. It has to be a grass tile. Sand wave, pause, works. Uh, so let's say I want to place a tower there. Right click to remove it. Like I can buy another one if I don't want to. Right click, poof. Uh, here, so I can uh, upgrade the tower. I can sell the tower, but I want to upgrade it. Level 2. Uh, I can upgrade it again because I have money. Really good tower. 5.5 damage. Fire, one, firing once every second. Uh, I can only upgrade it to level 3 then. Uh, so, yeah, let's start the wave. Uh, this is going to be a very powerful tower, really. So, you, I don't really want it right now. I'm just going to place a bad tower. Uh, so, you can see a little how the AI is moving. All the mobs are moving. Because there is some, some AI in the game at the moment. Pretty basic one though, but technically it's an AI, I think. Uh, they're gonna come here, go in a direction. The X increases here, and the Y increases down. So to right is X plus, left, X minus, etc. So they're starting in a. Like, this guy is right here, let's follow him. Uh, X minus, Y, y plus, plus. Uh, and as soon as it gets to a tile where the next tile is not the same, like here, this tile right here is not the same as this one because they're going up. So this tile is not equal to this. So find a new, find a new direction. And I can show you how they do it. Uh, remember that they went straight down here, and then as soon as he gets here, he's gonna go to go to right. But what if I cut this one off and I place a tile? I cut uh, cut this one off and let he goes let him go straight down. So let's change that. Uh, here, yeah, da, 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 da. let's straight down because that's what I wanted. Uh, that doesn't really matter, but I can do it anyway. I want him to go to right, something like that. It's gonna look a little weird right now. You see, now we can gonna go straight down instead. Uh, and oh yeah, this is how the sprites are placed on the placed on the game, along the screen. Depending on which number here is, here, it's gonna be a uh, different tile. So for example, zero is grass tiles, and ones, well, one is equal to dirt. And there's some other numbers here I'm not gonna go into, but depending on what number. It's gonna be a new, a different tile at that particular place. So let's start and see how the enemy is going right now. It goes 
He, last time he made a right turn here and went up and went down. No. And now he goes straight down to the right instead. I can play with this more. I can go make him go completely. Uh, I can make him go right, left instead. So he's gonna go. I'm gonna look a little bit weird here. I can make him go in a loop if I want to. Uh, but let's not do that. Let's make it look something like that. That looks weird though. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> he's gonna go right straight down here. He's gonna make a left turn. He's gonna go up, right, down, left, down, right, etc. Because the next tile is never is not the same. If the next tile from which he is standing on, let's see if I can get a pause here. Like this guy, this guy right here is gonna realize oh the next tile is not the same. So I need to find a new direction. And he does not go backwards. He does not go the same way he came from. So he cannot go to the left. But he can go down. So he's gonna go down. And he's gonna come here like, oh, I can't go down, but I can go left. And uh, that is pretty much how it works. The AI works. Uh, so, yeah. If you wanna play the game, there's gonna be a link below. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, just ask them. If you want the code for some reason, I can give you the code. Just give me a message or a comment in the section below comment section below. Uh, until then, take care and uh, have a great day. Bye!